My name is Samad Tolukbay. I'm a journalist, researcher, and descendant of great nomads. My ancestors had wandered through these steppes for centuries, followed their herds in search of the best pastures. The cattle was always their main capital. What are they now? The descendants of the great cattle breeders. The school of nomads, studying the past, creating present in order to build the future. Sheep breeding is the leading branch of domestic animal husbandry. The geography of Kazakhstan is best suited for the breeding of these animals. For many centuries, they adapted to the diverse climatic conditions of these lands, and as a result, several breeds were formed. Of course, they are also called differently. While Kazakh sheep breeds are similar to each other, long legs, fat tails, all of them are of meat breeds and are well adapted to the harsh cold and hot weather. Yes, today I want to talk about the sheep breeding, and therefore I arrived in the south of the country, in the Turkestan region, where I want to get acquainted with the Ordabasi breed of sheep. It did not take long to find them. Here, in the endless southern steppes, now and then, you can meet a lot of sheep flocks. May God help you. Thank you. How are you? Fine. And you? My name is Samad. I explore our traditional livestock. This time, I decided to come here to the Turkestan region and get to know the Ordabasi breed of sheep, which I heard brought out by local breeders. I would like to spend one day with you, help with housework and learn about sheep farming in your region. We are very pleased and we are ready to show you our sheep and to tell you about the Ordebasi breed. Thank you. On this farm, here is separate grazing. That is, males are herded separately. These sheep are considered a new species. They appeared as a result of the crossing of Kazakh sheep with Yedelbay and Gisar breeds. The peculiarity of this species is the size of individuals, large mutton sheep while possessing not so thick wool, just to match the local hot climate. An adult male in weight can reach 140 kilograms. Scientists began working out a project to develop a new species 20 years ago. As a result of breeding, even our Dabasi lambs are born larger than young calves of other breeds. The state commission that visited all our farms proposed to give the name to a new one, and we decided to call it Ordabasi. Since it was bred in these regions on farms of Ordabasi district. And so this type of lamp consists of half of the Gisar and a quarter of the Kazakh and Nidlbaev breed. Sheep of the new genotype are sheared once a year. A hundred ewes are capable of producing up to 112 lambs. According to the farmers, these sheep, despite not a thick coat, tolerate cold, all thanks to fat tail, which helps the animal body to survive in harsh conditions. According to scientists, the weight of the Ordebasi sheep exceeds the mass of the Kazakh fine fleeced by 10 to 15 percent. Today the livestock of these animals exceeds 100,000. Sheep farmers are proud because their sheep began to enjoy great demand in neighboring regions. The life of our people, their well-being, is inextricably linked with livestock. It has always been like that. The sheep has its patron, Shopanata. Kazakh breeders wanting to increase the number of livestock ask primarily him. In our 
There is no doubt that the taste of meat of any breed of sheep raised in Kazakhstan is special. This is an environmentally friendly product, because in the endless steppes our sheep are fed year-round and feed on very different vegetation, so get a whole complex of minerals and trace elements. Therefore, our meat is always considered tasty. With the increase in the population of the planet, the problem of shortage of meat is increasing. Therefore, today it is advantageous to breed such breeds of sheep that grow rapidly and gain weight. Meanwhile, Kazakhstani meat is valued in many countries. After all, our product is not only delicious, but also truly natural. There are few pasture cattle breeding practices in the world. In many countries, animals are kept on farms where their diet is not so diverse. In addition, modern food has various food additives that accelerate the process of increasing the mass of the animal. The result is a lot of meat, but with a small number of useful trace elements, so any balanced feed cannot be compared with real pastures. These lambs have been grazing since the early morning. By lunchtime, the flocks are returned to the cattle shed. Rested from the heat, the sheep after lunch again go to the pasture. But before that, they should definitely be driven away to a watering place. What I am going to do now. As I said, these are males. I am going to visit others in sheep shed. Coming here, I have found people in whites. It turns out that this is a local veterinary service. Apparently, they are holding regular preventive measures. I went straight to them. Maybe they need my help. What are you doing? So interesting. We now take blood samples for analysis to determine the presence or absence of brucellosis. Blood will be tested to the district veterinary laboratory. They will determine the health status of each individual sheep. What is this disease? Brucellosis. This is a rather dangerous infectious disease that can be transmitted to humans. And I am here today as an assistant helping the shepherds. Maybe you will need my help. All this is interesting to me. Yes, you can take part in. For example, you can give us tubes where we collect blood from tests. They are numbered. We make a blood collection. Mark according to the number. I understand. I am going to give you tubes and write down. Let's start. Yes, of course. Now in our improvised treatment room, we should invite the next group of sheep. Six, seven dozen heads will fit here. Now I will let them in. Let's go, come in. Helping the vets was pretty easy. It is enough to take test tubes and to register tests. The main thing is not to be mistaken. The main work, the process of blood sampling, is performed, of course, by the veterinarians themselves. After all, the health of animals and people is at stake. According to experts, the ecological situation on the entire planet worsens every year. And with it, new diseases appear. And to prevent them is to protect the health of future descendants. A 
Of course, in addition to the Ordabasis sheep breed in Kazakhstan, several more species of this pet are bred. For example, Merina sheep, Edelbaev breed. But most of all, I liked Karakul, especially small lambs. They have a very beautiful curly fur. It is a pity that when kids grow up, their wool straightens and they are not much different from other breeds of sheep. Meanwhile, this is the most common type of fine fleece. They were selected and bred in the Middle Asian steppes even long before the beginning of our calendar. These are strong, small, rather hardy sheep. If you remember, I was already on the Karakul farm in the west. Then I learned that Persian sheep, as well as Ordabasi sheep, are well adapted to the harsh climatic conditions. Still, I was surprised by the sheep of eastern Kazakhstan. There, on Jailau in the Tarbagatai Mountains, these animals, so adapted to the local rocks, that they rode easily instead of goats over the stones, hiding from the swamping heat. In general, studying this sphere, I came to the conclusion that in each region of Kazakhstan, those breeds of sheep were bred that lived well in a certain area. Our ancestors considered the breeding of these animals the most profitable, and they always tried to increase the number of their flocks. And over time, even in our culture, various beliefs and sayings related to this animal appeared. For example, the Kazakhs say, the main wealth is health, the second is a good spouse, the third is a dozen of sheep. And yet, when a guest suddenly came to the Kazakh, the host of the house, without hesitation, treated his guest with a lamb. And I think, if you're a Kazakh, then it does not matter in which century you live, in a village or in a city, but you must be able to butcher meats correctly. After all, the right way to cut, cook and serve lamb is a tradition that contains a lot of customs and rules. Such a kind of culinary etiquette of step dweller. And there is no way out of it, because despite this world has changed, Kazakh hospitality remains unchanged. So after working on the farm, I decided that you should certainly be introduced to the Kazakh cuisine, which is based on meat, of course, which as I said, should be properly cut and properly offered. To acquaint you with real Kazakh cuisine, I went to Rosa Moldesanova. This amazing woman has been engaged in the revival of old dishes of Kazakh nomad cuisine for two decades. Today she and her team will show me how to properly butcher lamb and how to boil the meat and serve it to the table. So we will get started. Before us is one year old carcass lamb. This means that the meat is tender and soft. Yes, our ancestors from time immemorial served the young lamb for any young guest, set up dasarkan and treated. This beautiful tradition continues to this day. So we start cutting from the chest part. It was traditionally presented to the family in law. Breast meat should be separated along with adjacent meat. We separated meat from the ribs. As a rule, the carcass of a sheep is divided into 13 parts. Each of them has its own purpose. For example, the meat of the pelvic part is considered the most delicious. They are treated to honored guests, daughters, daughters-in-law, children, neighbors. Each family member are assigned certain pieces of carcass.
Kazakh nomads who from ancient times knew a lot about meat butchered carcass solely with a knife without an axe. Yes, the carcass was not chopped, but the bones were skillfully divided along the joints. Kazakhs called this method Mushilev. And so we have separated the breast part. Next, we're going to cut the pelvic part. It is necessary to find in the lumbar the place of the joint and start the separation, the pelvic bone from it. By the way, when cutting it, it is necessary to remove the glands. They are in the meat of the thigh bones. If when serving meat to a table, a guest, someone from the elders, get a piece with unremoved glands, then someone who had not attentively butchered the carcass may be strongly condemned for it. I was surprised how a cook using only a knife can cut a whole lamp carcass. To be honest, I see, understand and do everything correctly, but in fact, remembering all the actions is very difficult. I need practice. I also learned that cutting the carcass correctly on the bones is not enough. It turns out that each of them has their own fillet pieces. That is, a certain part of the meat is assigned to the femoral bone, and the rest belongs, for example, to the thigh bone and it is strictly forbidden to confuse them. In general, it is the whole science. My grandmother, by the way, knows everything about it. According to Rosa, usually young, inexperienced butchers often make such mistakes. It seems I am doing everything right, but I confess honestly I did not remember the names of all these parts. Pelvic bones should be cut out well, so that the meat on them would be equal. It seems it worked out. Quite a difficult task, I tell you. I did not understand everything in the beginning, but I got the main rules. Incredibly, in our culture, even such a thing as cutting the carcass is a whole ritual. All the parts will be divided correctly. After the main Kazakh dish, Beshpermak, is prepared, it is necessary to properly serve each piece to a certain member at the table. For example, the biggest piece will be brought to the main guest. It can be in-laws or a senior member of family, or just an honorary person. Some parts are given for women, some for men such as the breast meat, should be given to the sons-in-law, but the spine and neck are given to the daughters-in-law. The hardest part began with the spine. Firstly, I almost broke it, and secondly, it turned out that I should have left enough meat on it, as a rule, this part of the carcass will be given to the daughters-in-law. My mentor makes fun of me, saying that because of me, the daughters-in-law are now left without a tasty piece. I believe her word, because she is a professional. She says that the knife in the hands of a butcher should be like a musical instrument in the hands of a musician. Yes. Here I was taught not only to cut up the carcass in Kazakh way, but also to salt the meat correctly. This is a required action. Nothing complicated. The main thing is not to exaggerate it. And now, exactly half of this will go to the cauldron. It is decided to cook lamb's head, which is usually served to the most important guests. As you understand, this guest today is me.
There are legends about the hospitality of my people. And the variety of cuisine surprises even me. Only from one lamp can be cooked many interesting and delicious dishes. For example, ornmetos, which means weaved breast. So the dish we are cooking is called ormetos, or weaved breast. This is one of the oldest dishes of the Kazakh national cuisine. For its preparation, lamb sternum is necessary, always with meat. We add salt, pepper, we can add other spices. Then roll the meat into a small roll, and further, this roll is beautifully tied with intestine. I warn you right away that not everyone will cope with such an extraordinary dish, but it's worth a try. See how expertly Rosa weaves the breast meat. I can't follow the movement of her deft fingers. For me, this is a real culinary masterpiece. It turned out beautiful. Now we will send in the same way to the cauldron. And for me, the most difficult time will begin. After all, such fragrant smells filled the room, that waiting for me was a whole ordeal. What could be better than Kazakh Dastarkhan? I think only people decorating this good feast. Rosa Pai and her team gave me a place of honor. Kazakhs call it Tor, and as a rule, Sheep's head was given at first place. It is served only for respected people. I am very glad. It is worth noting that since ancient times, there was an exception that is forbidden to touch the sheep's head if his father is alive and in good health. Therefore, I thank him and gave the head to the elder at the table. I had tried the lamb's head before, but this time the dish seemed to be especially tasty. Even this little guest liked it. In addition, I was able to taste all the pieces of freshly cooked lamb meat. I feel like a real con. The next step is our wicker breast. Looks very appetizing. And it is a pity that the camera does not convey the incredible flavor of this dish. I have already said that it was son-in-law that was treated with brisket. By the way, my spouse is a native of these places, so you can say that I am a son-in-law to these wonderful women, so brisket is very appropriate. Rosa and her team so warmly met me, and I am very pleased. Since ancient times, my ancestors have invested deep meaning in any occupation, whether they graze sheep, meet guests or just carve meat. Any action has its own important details and accents that convey culture and with it the wisdom of the ancient nomadic people. And I am very grateful to the people I met today. Each of them revives and preserves for future generations our traditions which are based primarily on hospitality.